the Jusan are pressing for what, what is known as independence of the judiciary through what we know as financial autonomy. And we also are aware that uh, Mr. President signed an executive order. As a lawyer, I don't think we need an uh, executive order to enforce you know, the constitutional provisions in this country. But be that as it may, there's already an executive order. And uh, I am also aware that at the time, the governors in this country you know, challenged that executive order in court. I would have thought that um, uh, Jusan will await, you know, whatever is going to be the decision of the court. But don't forget that um, an angry man is also an angry man. They have the right to press for their welfare. I will put the blame right on the depot of the government in Nigeria, whether the state of the Federation or by the federal government. Meanwhile, staff of the Bielsa State Judiciary joined their colleagues in the nationwide action as the executive members of the union went on an inspection of all judicial offices to ensure full compliance with the strike. This is in day two of our strike. I uh, want to appreciate every staff of Bielsa State Judiciary for staying at home, for complying. We are here to observe and to make sure that the adherence is strict, to make sure that um, staff are complying. So we're just here to look at it, and as you can see, the office is empty. And um, I think um, the response is very, very encouraging. So it's something we all want. We said indefinite, un until government says, yes, you people come and take your... This one, you take our freedom by force, so it is our freedom. So we want to take our freedom. So it's indefinite. When they call, if they call us tomorrow, that come, come. No, not even call us. If they do the fact at the fact level, they now give us what is due us. Mm -hmm.